What's up? Happy Sunday. It's Christine. Christine Horn. Oh man, I decided I'm gonna start doing these little things called um, Sunday stories. And I'm trying to be on Instagram more, so I figure I'll do it here. <laughs> um, the purpose of this, I figured it would help for some of my audience, for those of you who are actors or who are secretly aspiring to um, to just hear like some real life horror stories or funny stories related to the industry and knowing that um, so I'm saying hi to some of you. Thank you for popping on. Um, just to know that you're not alone. So the stuff that you're going through. Listen, if you are new to me, I'm Christine Horn. I'm a professional actress. I live here in Hollywood. I work in film and television. I've been on Broadway. Um, film and TV is my bread and butter now. It's what I love to do. But in addition to that, I'm an, I'm an acting coach. I'm a life and career coach for actors. Um, thank you. You saw the, me and the good doctor. Awesome. Yes, the good doctor was amazing um, that came on. If you have Hulu, you can catch me on the good doctor. It was uh, episode eight of this season. But I figured I, back in the day, I used to do this event in Atlanta. I used to promote concerts. And this concert was called Sunday Stories. And today I was thinking, I just finished taping a whole series on self-taping for those of you who said you wanted to know more. So I was like, before I turn these lights off, let me come and talk to the people. So I figure I'll do this. And so a story that popped up in my head today was years ago, I grew up in the theater. So ever since I was little, I did theater. I went to performing arts high school in Atlanta. Um, hey, Jaquir. Hey. <laughs> um, um, you can you can learn from me, Apple, Apple 226. Hey, you know, I have tons of programs. Click the link in my bio and there's tons. I have tons of stuff. I have a YouTube channel that has over 150 videos. You can start getting advice ASAP, absolutely free. And also click the link in my bio, you'll get connected, okay? So I wanna um, just share this story with you real quick. So years ago, I was, not years ago, when I was in high school, I was in an amazing theater community, theater program called the Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. Um, I live, um, and I wanna say focus on my story because I, I don't wanna get too distracted by the comments. Um, you, you can act from anywhere. You can act from anywhere. It doesn't matter, you don't have to be in Atlanta. Um, and I was in this youth theater company, the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. Shout out to all the members out there. And I was like 16. And the beautiful thing about theater, and thank you for the love, the beautiful thing about theater is it's in the moment. Like I always tell new and aspiring actors, like even if you want to do film and TV, it's really essential that you have have taken a theater class or an improv class because the thing about theater, it forces you to be on your toes. There's no redo. There's no take two, take three, let's do it again. It's in the moment, right? There's no go backs. And it's the best training ground. So even if that's not your what you really want to do, I say get in a theater class just to work your muscle and to become free. So I was in this youth theater company. If you're just joining on, this is my Sunday stories where I'm teach sharing like epic fails and horrible moments in my career that I've learned from and you can learn from them too. And so I was about 16 and we were doing this show and I caught this really bad cold or respiratory infection or something like that. And my voice started going out. But, you know, this theater company was filled with competition. It was filled with people who were just as good, people who were waiting on the sidelines, ready to jump in at any moment, like wait for me to be sick. And I remember having this thing like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show up. And any of my friends who were in this, in this theater group know how this story goes. And so I knew that my voice wasn't all the way back. Like I had legit had like laryngitis, like, and I had this full big solo to sing. And I was being too proud. My, I was being too proud. I was had basically in hindsight, a lack mindset. Like this is mine, you can't take what's mine. And I was like, no, I got it, I'm good. They're like, Christine, are you sure? You wanna go on stage? Like you have this solo. I'm fine, I'm, I'm well, wasn't even, it was like, I'm fine. I'm, honey, then lights came on. I think it was in the second act of the show. The spotlight came on me. And the line of the song was supposed to be, everything has its season. And it was supposed to be, everything has its season. It was supposed to be something like that. And I stood there, the lights came on me, and it was like, 
great thing. Uh, I mean, it was so horrible. That day, I died on that stage. I saw myself crumble before hundreds of people in an audience. There is, I mean, every actor has a moment where you crash and burn in front of people. So it was the most embarrassing moment I've ever had on stage, ever. And I was too proud. I was too proud to, uh-oh, I want to hit the wrong thing. Okay, good. Because I shouldn't be touching the screen. I was trying to wave at y'all and I'm messing up. I was too proud to say that I needed my understudy to come on. And I suffered the consequences. And the beauty of theater is you get one shot. But let me share with you the lesson. Thus, I promise to share the lesson from this Sunday story. After that, nothing could hurt me. Nothing could mess with me. Like, if I could lose my voice and tank in front of hundreds of people, like, what can't I do? So some of you are secretly aspiring to be actors. Some of you are new actors trying to get that first co-star, that first guest star, maybe that first series regular, whatever it is. Some of you are working your nine to fives, your five to tens. You have that secret desire burning in your belly. You know you want it. You, you try to ignore it. Maybe you got kids, you got a family, you got responsibilities, You're supposed to do something that feels safe. But that burning desire is there and you are talking yourself out of it because what if you fail? What if you mess up? What if you're not good enough? Like that's the stuff I hear from my clients all the time. I coach actors who want to be on TV, who want to do film, and it is my joy. But the biggest hurdle we usually have to fight through when I'm working with my clients is getting past this right here. That mindset, that voice, that inner critic that comes up and says, you're going to mess up, you're going to fail, people are going to laugh at you. Your cousin's going to talk about you. Nobody's going to believe in you. You can't make money at that. You're not famous. Like all that stuff that's going to come up, right? All that stuff will come up and talk you out of your dream, talk you out of your destiny. Had I let that moment take me down when I was 16 and I tanked in front of hundreds of people and like just screwed up, Wanting to literally pick my face up. And when I tell you we were in high school, I got so joned on for years about that moment. But I never let it stop me. I would not be sitting here in Hollywood today doing TV shows and films if I let that moment talk me out of my destiny. So I want to share that. I wanted to kick off my Sunday Stories uh, series with you tonight with that story. Yes, I tanked. I sucked. And it wasn't the last time I did something and wasn't good at it. I got it. I'll say that for another day. I've had many more, but I keep getting up. I keep getting up. I keep getting up. It's not about what happens to you. It's how you react after it. So if you've got a burning in your belly, no matter what your passion is, maybe you're not an actor. I mean, that's who I'm talking to, but don't let it die because you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of messing up because let me tell you, you will mess up. You will forget some lines. You will be on set and blank out. You will be nervous. You will have all of that. But if you have something that is that is there, that is a gift, the world needs to see it and you owe it to yourself. You know, being an actor, I've been doing this for over 20 years and my career has changed. It has ups and downs, ebbs and flows. Jakir said, that's right. Yes. Is ups and downs and ebbs and flows and my career changes as each year passes. And I allow myself that flexibility and freedom. And so it's okay if it looks different. It's okay if you want to take a break. If you want to start a family. Yeah, never give up. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want to share these, these epic fails with you just because they helped me grow. They helped me be the person that I am today. And I would not take them back for anything in the world. So I just wanted to send you that as you as you wind down on this Sunday evening, just know that I'm thinking of you and just keep pushing if it's something you really want. And if you don't want it, that's okay too. Because sometimes we feel like we have to hold on to a, a goal because we said it out loud and what will people think if I say I don't want to do it anymore. So I share that story with you today of failing in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> What's up, Vintage Pop Soul? That's my girl, Seikon, who was in the ensemble. Seikon, I just told a story about doing that show back in the day where I lost my voice. Do you remember that? <laughs> 
I'm trying to tell him. I'm not making this up. So thank you, Nzinga. Oh, I appreciate you. I'm so glad that you're that you popped on. So listen, join me here every Sunday night where I share another Sunday story of a an epic fail or an epic lesson in hopes that it inspires you. And listen, click the link in my bio if you want some trainings from me, if you want to just listen to more videos on YouTube, if you want to connect with me in any way, you can also send me a DM if you have a specific question and maybe you want to reach out and learn how to work with me. Have an amazing night. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.